I got it. I was detected. Am I not a I was detected and. No. And it just incredibly poorly, very quickly. Yeah, yeah. And welcome back to Welcome to Skyrim. Ooh, that was too many welcomes very close to each welcome. other. Welcome. Stop it. Marty. It was a large rabbit. I'm Max Scoville, and uh, that's Marty Sleva, and that's a big bunny rabbit. Uh, for those of you just tuning in, what's wrong with you? We've I went to Cradle Crush Rock. Lot of episodes. Uh, Cradle Crush Rock is, uh, ooh, damn, it's a big bunny. Uh, we're uh, trying to get up that mountain to see what is up there. We're trying to find the Greybeards up on uh, Saddle Rock, Cradle Creek, or whatever it's called. Is there anyone I could marry in the mountain? Because I feel like if I could marry someone, that would be, I feel like. Anything goes in the mountains. You okay. can marry a wolf. Oh, how'd the, how that large rabbit get here? I mean, the wolf probably killed it. Uh, yeah, so you want to just make your way up here. When you get up there, you're going to meet some boys who are going to teach you how to sing. We have no. a voice. And I hope I can use my singing to marry someone, and I hope we never see Molek Ball again. Molek Ball was not our friend. Fool. <laughs> Did you think Molek Ball, the Lord of Domination, would so easily reveal... We got owned by the Lord of Domination. He was... very bad. Are you even going the right way? A badit? I'm, not gonna, I'm absolutely not going to give you two Uh, Kill him. Her. Yeah, I know. I'm 100% going to kill her. Well, maybe I can use my... Persuade. Persuade. Ooh, that was easy. Yeah! Level six! Getting on up there! I guess we're faster leveling now. You sure you don't like Skyrim? Marty doesn't like Skyrim. I don't like Skyrim. I can't wait for a, a game where you catch animals making love. Uh, what? <laughs> like, I don't know. Just like you come up on them in nature and they're just going at it. Yeah, I mean, that'd be a cool game. Brian was telling me about this time that uh, him and his friend were walking around in the in the woods, yeah. and they saw uh, they saw two ladies doing sex stuff together, but they also saw at the same time a mountain lion, and they didn't know where to look because both of these things were like equally exciting, but they were like, "Where do we look?" <laughs> what? And I don't really believe him because I don't think those I don't think those things have. Ever I, I don't think he's. I, I don't think he saw either of those. To be honest. See, I've had a similar thing happen where I saw two mountain lions making love. <laughs> and, and then there was, was a, a woman. perfectly normal woman hanging out there. Uh, but yeah, that didn't, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, my! I, I got a problem. You could go up the mountain. No, my problem is I was going towards the blue thing and not, not towards where I should be going. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I see you're going like backwards. Reverse okay, no, but I just, wanted, I just want to go south. That's fine. I wish you could fly in this game. Yeah. Ooh, wildlings. No, wait, giants. Uh, It's fine. It's fine. He doesn't see me. Yeah, he does. Who is it? I don't know. You can't hear him, but you took his cheese. <laughs> you stole that mammoth's cheese. Oh, no, there's a second one. He, I got it. I was detected. That might not have worked. I was detected, and no. That ended just incredibly poorly very quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! God, they're scary every no, time. It's very terrifying. Floppy bunny. Oh, you can finally get that cool bonus point up there. Go up that hill. Man who went up a hill and came down a mountain? What? That's, Is that a thing that's Dad a film. say? That's a film. Man, man went up a hill and came down a mountain? Yeah. That's not a movie. There's a movie called The Man Who Went Up a Hill and Came Down a Mountain. No. Could be. There's a, ma there's a movie called Alvin and the Chipmunks 3 Road Ship. Oh, that's true at all. That's yeah, totally true. There's Alvin and the Chipmunks 2, The Squeakquel. Southwest. Alvin and the Chipmunks 4. Uh, I don't think any of these are right, dude. Much Ado About Nothing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Al Alvin and the Chipmunks 5. Squirrels lost Gone knife wild. hideout. Ooh, that's where my knife is. I actually think I lost my knife. In real life? Yeah. Very sorry. Okay, so if you, you want to go, you want to go like... Yeah. We'll go that way, yeah, we'll and then it goes around, and then there's like a bridge, and then you go up, and then it goes around more. Do you remember all this? Yeah, it's impressive. Uh, I've done this like this this crappy part where you have to walk up a hill like a bunch of times. I've contracted rock joint. What's rock joint? Did it say that? Yeah. Is that a disease? I don't know. It's like my st does my stamina slower to come back? Did it say rock joint? I thought it said rock joint. Why do I have rock joint?
When I go to magic, then active effects, it shows that I have rock joint, which says melee attacks do 25% less damage. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Where did I get it from, and how can I remove the effect? There's got to be a better way. Had a fight with a wolf recently, because you catch this from them. Yeah, Moving definitely. That was a wolf. Wow. I've never gotten that. This, this, this that's amazing. Is. You got too many wolf fights. You got rabies. Dude, Does you got rabies in Skyrim. Got Skyrim rabies? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God, you could just curl up in that thing. That'd be so nice. It'd be like a big beanbag chair. Oh, it'd be like a like a a tonton. Hit Star Wars. Yes, that popular kangaroo from that space romance. Ooh, I'm trying to be like a salmon right now. Yeah, you're not doing it good. It's you know, none of this water's real. The water's not real. Yeah, you're in a game. Oh, <laughs> like canonically. You're in the game. I thought canonically, like, oh, that's not water. That's canonically, it's just melted ice from Skyrim's peak, the Horn of the Giants. Is that a real place? No, it's the throat of the world. Is that a real place? Uh, in Skyrim, yes. You're actually going up the throat of the world right now. Stop saying that. Um, Some would say you're even very uh, close. south. You're questing to wrap your fingers around the throat of the world. Venturing deep, deep within its gullet. Are you sexting me? Yeah. It's working. Thank you. <laughs> All roads have led here. The culmination of our entire Skyrim journey is going to be here. Yeah, I like to think we're, we're nearing the end of our Skyrim adventure. And you, uh, you know what we're going to find at the end? We're going to play Dragon's Dogma instead. I love Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> really? Yeah, Dragon's Dogma rules. I mean, I guess. You can climb those weird boys. I don't know how you don't like Skyrim, but you like Dragon's Dogma. No, it's because I never had a Molek Boleg situation. Molek Boleg, Molek Boleg. Mo Boleg. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Suck mostly you just killed goats. Yeah, like, Dragon's Dogma is cool because you go around a corner and there's like a there's a damn chimera. Yeah, but then it also is very hard. Yeah, I had a, a weird problem where I accidentally murdered a king in that game. I think that and sucks. then it, it was like you can't. Play. Is this is Yarvastead? Yep, you're here in Yervistead. You might want to go talk to one of those uh, vendors. Where? Play a vendor's game. I don't know. Look for a little house that has like a nice sign out front or something. These look like bars up here. What do we got? What's that sign say? Can you read it? Ah, vile mirror. Uh, you probably don't want that one. It's here, right? Check this out. Stop it. You're making me, you're making me dizzy. No. Wait, yeah, where was our? You're lost in the passion. Oh, this was our destination? Yeah. I kept thinking this was our destination. No, it was. It was. You had to, you had to get there before you got there. Because there's only one way up the mountain. Yeah, just keep keep going. Uh, you're going to get to a point where there's, like, monsters and stuff, but, you know, mostly don't who cares. Uh, you know, you can, like, theoretically beat Skyrim in, like, three hours. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what... Oh, what's nipping, what's nipping at my heels? A little wolf? Oh, no, it's, uh, yeah, a little wolf. A little fart. I like it does the slow motion thing in the least cool times. Yeah. Which I kind of appreciate. Like when you're fighting a, a like a bird or yeah. something. <laughs> Alright, so just follow these little uh little paths. This is like the, the steps in uh, the Lord of the Rings. There's many steps and then the friendship yeah. the friendship was tested. Yeah. But, but you don't have any friends in this game. No, I have have had two companions. I mean your wife your wife died in that cave. Yeah, my wife died in the cave. She wasn't your wife, but she could have been if she hadn't died in that cave. The, uh, the, uh, with Rest the spider? Peace, Lydia. Yeah, Lydia passed away, and then uh, I made one friend, but I told him to scram. I harried to Henderson him. Wait, what's that? Oh, it's becoming snowy. Snowman? Ah, Barknar! What are you doing, Barknar? Uh, yes. Please, Dave. Okay, you want to help or anything? Or? <laughs> what's wrong with you? I guess you could kill him. I don't care. I killed him. No soldier I'm large enough. Did you just I... kill the green arrow? You just kill Oliver Queen? <laughs> I don't have a soul gem that's large enough. You're gonna get so good at shouting on this mountain. Really? They could have called they should have called Skyrim Shouting on the Mountain. Shouting on the Mountain? Yeah. Yeah, I'd play that game. Elder Scrolls V, return to the mountain of Shouting. I'd play that game. Yeah, no you wouldn't. You don't like Elder Scrolls. Said so. I've been yelling though. Yeah. Right. You keep going straight. If you want to steal a bunch of flowers, there's some over there for some reason. On this man's grave? See? 
Free money in a bowl. I think that was a grave. I had someone left that there. Yeah, it's like a shrine. Um, Dead husband. So yeah, get through here. There's a fairly difficult uh, cross troll. Do I have to fight it? Uh, I guess. You can just run past, honestly. It's, he's really very ugly. <laughs> I don't... Troll shame. I like that he's sort... I think he hangs out sort of under a bridge. Let's see. This is a place to troll and hang out. So, uh... On your left, you'll see the world. Yeah, we are very high right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, look at this guy. Right ah. right. That was really dumb. Yeah. Yeah, we're not high. Are you out of your mind. <laughs> Drink just Jägermeister over here. What's wrong with you? I'm drinking just like bath water warm. PPR. We throw some Jaeger in there, spice it up. Uh, it just ta this tastes like the. You like did it! You're at High Hara Hathgar! Tastes like the like the final days of a relationship. Just. You gonna break up with me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Rahar Hathgar! I'm, I'm excited. This is a new place. Rahar Hathgar! Stop. You're not saying Rahar Hathgar! Stop, stop it. Is there Rahar Hathgar! <laughs> is this I enter? That'd be really weird if that was like like one of those bad grocery stores where they're like, oh no, we closed this door after 10. You're like, come <laughs> on. You gotta go all the way to the other side around the shopping carts. It's really annoying. Alright, welcome to Harar Rothgar. That's the name of the last one. You're in Harar Rothgar. Oh, there's that man. You're my quest. Hello and welcome to the mountain of the wizard robes. We've put ponytails into our beards. <laughs> These guys are huge dorks. <laughs> They're just like. Do I just? Do I just? They want you to yell at their pots. They look. Yeah. I did. Let me hear you say, "Hey." Strike them. Okay. Well, it's still, it's still. Yeah, I think they like my speed up the cooldowns up here. My Fusrada refactory period. Yeah. That hurt our ears. Please don't do that <laughs> I anymore. immediately regret that. <laughs> I am the Lorax. I speak for the Greybeards. Stop looking at me, you weird dude. Yeah, these guys are just I have you nasty your friends old Your friend's a weird man. These guys, I feel like they'd have just, like, really no sense of personal space. Like, they would just be yeah. like... Yeah. <laughs> next to you on the sits car. next to you on the bus, even though there's, like, plenty of other yeah. seats. Or they, yeah, or they'd just be like... <laughs> they really would want to, like, tell you a lot of secrets <laughs> and stuff. You know, like, oh, your, bo your beard's so weird. Yeah. I feel like the rest of, like, that guy, Arngar, I feel like he's got a normal beard, like, he can grow a beard, yeah. but this dude over here is, like, he's literally never shaved in his life, and he's incredibly proud of that beard, but everyone else is like, eh, he tried. Yeah, he tried. Like, these guys have to trim it, but he's like me, and he's just got, like, patches he's and just stuff, like, uh, he's like, hey, check it out, I grew my beard, finally. <laughs> ah, Parthenax. Well, how do I get my voice to open up the path? Uh, you gotta go see him. He's in like in the other room or something. Do I just like scream? Uh, I think you have to go in the backyard and then do like a weird little maze. Come on, they're all very slow. Ah, remember, Einarth. Remember when we didn't think we could ever even get to level five and we I got to level six? So far. Wait, did you just leave or? I thought oh, you said wait, I was yeah. supposed to go in the backyard. Uh. Is this not the backyard? I th oh wait, I think they want you to t do some crap. Yeah, my arrow's still in here. Are they still? I think they're sweet ass. They're gonna like come out right as you're entering there. Come on, you old dorks! I'm gonna, I'm gonna yell at them again. Oh, there we go. Oh, the, he was he was the weird one. Okay, Ironarth. Yeah, I don't like Ironarth one bit. Wait, I'm literally talking. He looks like a fish in disguise. All right? Fish. Ah, yeah. You're learning. I just learned a word. What on earth are you doing here? You. Don't stand so close to him. Like the the the, the sting song. Yeah. Look at that little sachet. It's like mm. it's a little turn on the runway. I hate their outfits. No, don't do it. Give him a treat. Give him a nice a, a vegetable. Give him the red apple. 
you. He's your teacher. Get the red apple. There we go. Thank you for the red apple. <laughs> All right. Whoa. What? Get out of here. All right, so you got the new power. You got two out of three of the uh, dragon swears. That's good. You're doing the thooms. That's what they're called. The thooms? Thoom. Yeah. Okay, just, yeah. This is so annoying. Strike the targets. Okay. okay. They're going to summon the wizard or something. Bring forth the holograms. Oh, no, it's Darth Sidious. Get him. All right. Cool down. Cool down. Let it recharge. Walk it off. Have a glass of water. Do some push-ups, you know. You know. Doing some squunts. Squunts, yeah. Okay. Yes. Good job, Marty. I don't know, it keeps... I feel like at this point it should realize I know how to hit that button. I mean, dude, we're like, what, eight hours deep into this game and hey, we're, we're doing the tutorial. <laughs> ah, yes. Ah, I killed that third Hooray, one. you killed them, the wizards. Hey, Wolfgar. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. They're going to make you, I think they make you go in the backyard and do, yeah. <laughs> These messer. guys probably spent all, like so much time preparing for this. They were so excited. They're like, "Oh, the Dova King is going to come visit. The Dragon Board is coming." And then we've it's been, me. We've been like hauling him, and then you show up, and you're just like, just like a hyperactive idiot. You yeah. Know? Come on, boy. Come. On. Like I feel like it's probably when like, uh, like, oh come on, don't shout at Bori. Well, it said I was supposed to follow him, and he wasn't doing a good job of going up the stairs. Yeah, they're very slow. Look, I yelled at him, and he went up the stairs. This is kind of how I feel when we have like really good, like really good guests on up at noon. Yeah. But we're not quite ready. Yeah. And I'm like, ah yes, uh, just here's our uh, fridge. Let's uh, go in here now. Have you ever tried uh, water? Have a seat. Ooh, they disappeared. A good trick if you have company and you don't know what to say to them is say, "Can I get you anything? Glass of water?" And if they say yes, then you just take way too long getting the glass of water. That's good. That's a good trick. <laughs> just go in the other room and just be like. I don't know, just fill it up really slowly. Yeah. You know? Pour it out, be like, I, I can't, I must get them the perfect glass of water. Try to cool it off with your hands. <laughs> I don't even know how that would work. Just put your hand in the water. I feel like they, they really don't think I know how to do this. Oh, no, you're about to learn something new. Oh. You have to learn how to do, how you, this is actually really fun. Uh, you can go back to White Run and, and mess up the dinner table by running around on it too fast. Okay. Uh, whirlwind, whirlwind sprint. Yeah, this is actually pretty cool. This is would have been a great way to defeat those uh, swiping uh, Indiana Jones knives that we had to fight. Remember? Yeah, those guys were neat. We, I kept dying on those. So I just, do I just yell at him? Uh, I think you have to equip it. Okay, so go in your. Next to me, Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass go to your go to your spells. Magic. Go down to shouts. There you go. Good job, Marty. Good job. All right, you ready? Open it. Excellent. You did it. Still fast. Which one's Angnar? That one. The arrow one. The man, <laughs> the man with the large arrow on top of him. The um. I've heard the story. Come on. But beware. Is he talking? Not ready for my last trial. The stare is growing and making him very uncomfortable. I think the only I think the only game where you can stare at somebody's crotch and make them uncomfortable Metal Gear? is Metal Gear. Yeah. yeah. What a weird mechanic. Please. It. All right, you did it. The Horn of the Jurgen. Yeah, of I Jergen. love how you make this huge trek up there, and they're like, 
Uh, there's a thing that we need you to get, and it's over there, and you gotta go get it, please. So I'm done with these old men? Um, with these grumpy, grumpus old yeah, men? Yeah, basically, for now. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's Horai Hrothgar. The Horn of the Jurgens. Jurgens Windcaller. Yeah. You did a good job. They want you to go all the way back down there and go into a dumb little house. Uh, but that might be another day of Skyrim. I'm very proud of you, Marty. I did it. You learned two new words in the dragon tongue. You're, you're practically just speaking full dragon now. Fusruda. Not really. Yes, Fusruda, indeed. And Fusruda to you, dear friends. Thank you for watching. <laughs> what if I run off? The, what if I? What if I do the sprint off the mountain? Try it. I died. Well, you definitely. You're still falling. Oh. Uh, you are still falling down the mountain. The game well. Broke. The game. And there's the big Skyrim phallus. Anyway, that was Welcome to Skyrim. Thank you for joining us. And, uh, you know, always uh, Skyrim.